Hi, I'm Sarah Moskowitz. I'm a certified child passenger safety technician in Providence, Rhode Island. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to install the Graco Extend to Fit convertible car seat in forward facing mode using the lower anchor system, the latch system. Now it's very important to know what model of car seat you are working with. You can check the stitching on the front of the seat as well as your manual. And on the back of the seat, right over here, should be a white sticker that tells you the model name, the date of manufacture, which is how you determine when the seat will expire. Um, there are so many similar named seats by Graco, and some of them have different rules, which I will try to print on the screen as I go through this process. Now this seat forward faces up until 65 pounds or 49 inches, whichever the child reaches first. The minimum for forward facing, according to the manual, is 22 pounds, but the seat rear faces to 50 pounds. So I highly recommend rear facing as long as possible, as close to four as possible, as close to 50 pounds as possible before forward facing. Some important things to note, the cup holders on the seat must be installed. Um, there is a foot panel, which you might be familiar with, but the foot panel cannot be used forward facing. So make sure that, that is in. While we're talking about the panels, so this is where the foot panel was, right up here. You squeeze that lever, put it away. Now, down here is the recline. To install this forward facing, if the child weighs under 40 pounds, you must use recline number four on the base. So I'm just gonna do this right now to demonstrate. Recline four is, right? Now you can see that, that is kind of crazy recline. So again, I do recommend rear facing until 50 pounds. Over 40 pounds, up until 65 pounds, you can use recline number five or six. This does differ on the similar but differently named models. I will print that below so as not to confuse everybody. So let us go to recline number six because we can. Okay, so going to confirm that recline six is on the base. Everything you're going to be working with today has an orange label on the seat. This is the forward facing belt path. First thing you want to do, make sure your lower anchors are in the correct belt path. When you take off the seat cover, there you go. the lower anchor strap is under a metal rod on the right hand side of the seat. So you wanna make sure that that is routed to the forward facing belt path. The other thing you wanna do before forward facing is make sure to change the crotch buckle on this specific seat to the outermost slot. There are two slots. For the extended fit, you must have it in the outer slot for forward facing. So the way to do that, next thing you wanna do, Make sure to take the top tether off of its storage spot right over here. This is a J hook style. So you press the flexible piece of the metal to move it. And we are going to extend this all the way by pressing on the gray button. There we go. And flip that over the top of the seat. The lower anchors are stored right over here. You're gonna do that same process where you extend this as much as you can, which can be difficult sometimes. <laughs> okay, now, you should make sure that you have a top tether anchor up here. Now, my lower anchors are located in the seat bite. I can identify them by two little buttons. I'm going to start on this side and I'm just going to hook it. And here we go, this side. There we go. Okay. Now, to tighten the last strap, what I like to do is lift up the seat cover. You're going to pull the tail of the last strap into the belt path, put some weight on the seat, pull that tail. 
Now I'm gonna check for movement, side to side, front to back, at the belt pack only. Don't move down here, don't move up here, just at the belt pack. Still some wiggling. So I'm gonna put weight in the seat. Okay, at the belt pack. It's not moving at the belt pack. Now we take the top tether. We're going to route it over here. Click on the top tether anchor and pull that tight. All right. Once the child's in the seat, you want to make sure to raise or lower the headrest so that the harness straps are coming from at or below the child's shoulders. For forward facing, we want at or below. Um, down here is how you're going to loosen the harness straps. And that's a forward facing insulation with latch. I'm going to post another video for forward facing insulation with seatbelt. Thank you for watching.